10 o'clock news tonight on Fox 5. Tonight, Fox presents a special movie presentation of Beethoven with up-to-the-minute election coverage throughout the night. This election day, America is going to the dogs. Beethoven. With 200 pounds of shedding, drooling, housebreaking, family fun. His name is Saturday night. Hey, and now, a special movie presentation of the outrageous comedy blockbuster, Beethoven. I really don't like our dog. Put some bite into your election night on Nonstop Fox. in New York. I'm Mike Schneider. And I'm Catherine Cryer. While you're watching the movie tonight, we'll update you during the commercial breaks. Your vote counts and count on us for the latest. You decided. Now we report tonight on Fox. The Fox Tuesday night movie presentation of Beethoven will continue after this Fox News election update. shaping up to be a very big night for President Clinton. Already this evening, with polls closed in about half of the states, we're able to project President Clinton has now won a total of 198 electoral votes. Bob Dole has won 23. Ross Perot has none. 270 are needed to win the presidency, and Fox News is now projecting Clinton as the winner in several key states. First of all, the state of Florida. This is a very big loss for Bob Dole. 25 electoral votes. Illinois also backed President Clinton. Good for 22 more votes. So does the state of Michigan, which will earn the president 18 votes. Ohio, another crucial state because Republicans have never gone to the White House without winning Ohio, backs Mr. Clinton as well. As we say, this is a state that no Republican has ever gotten through a loss there and gone to the White House. Pennsylvania now, the Keystone State, votes for the president as well. Polls have also closed in several other states at this hour. Let's review the ones we're able to project. The uh, state of Kansas, as you might expect, goes for its native son, Bob Dole. That earns him six electoral votes. He takes Oklahoma as well for another eight. And the state of Alabama, we might add, for another. President Clinton takes Connecticut for eight electoral votes. The state of Maine, now largely conceded by Mr. Dole, backs the president. And also Massachusetts goes for Mr. Clinton as well. We will now take a look at some of the local races that we want to discuss with you as we continue our... The Fox Tuesday Night Movie is brought to you by Pop Secret Microwave Popcorn. One secret no one wants to share. We'll continue after this Fox News election update. Fox News here in New York. Strong showing by President Clinton continuing this election night. So far, the polls are closed in just about half the states across the country. We're able right now to project President Clinton has won 204 electoral votes. Bob Dole has now won 35 in a total of four states. Ross Perot thus far has won no electoral votes. 270 votes are needed to win the presidency. Bob Dole has now won four states, Indiana, Kansas, Oklahoma, and the state of Alabama, and he appears very strong at this point in the state of Texas. President Clinton has captured every other state where the polls have closed, including the big prizes of Michigan, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Illinois, Florida, and Ohio, where no Republican has ever lost and then gone on to the White House. Once again, a decisive lead by the president at this point, 204 electoral votes to Bob Dole's 35, nothing for Ross Perot. 305 votes are still to be decided, and many of them will be coming in in just about 23 minutes from now. New York and several other states will be closing, 10 other states to be precise, at 9 o'clock. The president may do very well and perhaps be very close, if not over, the 270 electoral votes needed for a presidential victory. Now, they've been watching several other states around the country. We want to bring you up to date on those local races that may be of great importance to you in your area as you are watching watching tonight. Fox News election update. Good evening, I'm Catherine
Pryor, it is a big night for President Clinton so far. With polls closed in most states, we're able to project President Clinton is reelected to serve another term as President of the United States. He surpassed the 270 electoral vote threshold just a few minutes ago as New York's 33 votes helped put him over the top. Let's take a look at how the states voted. Clinton wins the following states, Arkansas for six electoral votes, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, Florida and its 25 big electoral votes, Illinois with 22, Kentucky, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan and its 18 electoral votes, Minnesota, Missouri, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, Ohio, Pennsylvania with 23, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Vermont, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Now, Bob Dole has won only Alabama, Indiana, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Wyoming. Again, President Clinton is reelected to serve another four years. That's where the presidential tally stands at the moment. And now we're going to take a look at some other races. A movie presentation of Beethoven will continue after this Fox News election update. Good evening, I'm Catherine Pryor. As we announced at the top of the hour, Bill Clinton has been re-elected to serve another four years as President of the United States. His current electoral vote stands at 284, above that 270 number needed to win the presidency. Bob Dole's total count now is 87. Ross Perot has zero. Let's take a look at how the candidates fared in some of the states whose polls have closed recently. New York, the state that pushed him over the top, won Clinton 33 electoral votes. The president also took Minnesota, a generally Democratic-friendly state, as well as New Mexico, where Clinton earned five electoral votes. Bob Dole has taken so far only eight states, including Alabama, Indiana, Kansas, Texas, Oklahoma, and Wyoming, for a total of 87 votes. As feared, voter turnout so far has been dismal. Every state reporting shows a drop compared to 1992, anywhere from 3 to 11 percent. And in a Fox exit poll, 61 percent of the people we talked to said the national economy is in good or excellent condition. 57 percent said they believe the country is on the right track, strong indications of support for the president. Once again, President Clinton is re-elected to serve another four years. Now we're going to take a look at some other races around the country.